You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey there, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and this is cool. It's the Tommy Monster Machine's Mad Masher. Wow. Check it out. 16 wheels. They're all geared together, so it's made to climb up. Now, yes, you want to see it work, right? Well, fresh batteries, it does not turn on. This thing is close to excellent mint minus condition. Just a few little issues. It's dusty. That could be corrected. There's also uh, some stickers coming up. That could be corrected. And it'll bring this monster machine in, uh, I don't know, just really good condition. Now this top cab piece does come off. Look at it. See what I'm saying? All the stickers are really nice. The whole unit itself is really nice. Maybe just a little red there. These engine compartments you slide back and then lift up and that's what holds the battery see fresh batteries in there so I'll tell you what I'm gonna break away I'm gonna open up the back of this I've been into this engine once already it actually runs there's just something with the gear that keeps slipping out of place there's this plate here which is just a connection to this plate which connects to this plate the wiring all the way back into the engine so I'll tell you what we get the screws out get a little closer and show you the inside of the gearing here Okay, so we've got the screws out. There's two size screws. There's a little tiny screw that's longer, goes in the front two holes, and there's two screws that are just a little shorter and they go in these back two holes. So basically, once you get it to this point, you can just pull this up and lift it out. So there's the gears in there. The mechanism that controls the power is this gray piece right here. So let me pull this gear out, I can show you that the motor on this is actually working pretty strong. Come on. See? There's no issues with the motor. It's something with the gears. So the electricity is coming to the motor. Uh, this particular setup here is the most important gear which controls everything that, uh, you know, connects all the gears together. Now I can get it like that. I can hold the gear down. And see? It has a hard time motor struggles with this so I have to figure this out so what I'm gonna do is play with this a little more now you've seen the mechanics we'll get it back together and see if we can get it to at least work a little bit so there you go we'll check back when I get it all back together I just showed you the internal pieces these two plates here um, just run the wiring from the two batteries to the two batteries to the motor all right all right just wanted to update you here figured out the issue it's that this outer gear here that's connected to the motor shaft is slipping. So when the thing is engaged, it spins, see? But the gear itself is not, so that's what's causing the issues. All right, so what we're done here now is got the gear out, and I've got it set so that it's gently split apart so I can super glue this. Now this is not the best fix, especially for such a high power gear here that's controlling 16 wheels, so. If you can find a replacement gear or you have one, I would do that instead. But we're in a fix. So we're going to actually super glue into that channel there, just that channel. So the vice grip originally holding the gear now was put back on the shaft and then tightened just a little more. And we squeaked a little more glue around the edge there and around the actual crack in the gear. This way, it's as tight as it can get on the shaft. So hopefully, this will temporarily hold so we get at least attempt to run this vehicle. I don't think it's a permanent fix because this gear controls 16 wheels. There's just no way. So we'll check back in about say 5-10 minutes and we'll see if it works. Alright so we have the gear set and fixed and I'm just gonna take the vice grips off and put it back together. And we'll see what happens. So let's insert this gear back in. This one goes down lower. Oh, got to lift the motor to do that. Okay, so that one's in place. Let's just test that. It's not easy to hold it together when you're testing purposes. Okay, that looks like it's working there. So let's put this main gear, main gear back in. So this controls the whole system. So that's back in. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're just going to put this back plate back on. So 
Don't show you the screwing in part. So we'll check back when it's all screwed in and we'll give it a test. So there you go, the gear's put back in. It's running pretty good. I don't think we're gonna give it a full test over some blocks or anything because uh, the gear, you know, is not 100%. But at least it's running now. Check it out. Let's run it by a couple more times here. We we'll grab it. Put the gear in there. Thanks for watching our eBay product video, and always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.